morning. The summary of our lesson. What happened? Ano ang nangyari? Ito ang title ng lessons natin. Kung titignan po natin, ginawa ng Panginoon yung tao para magkaroon siya ng deep relationship with His creations. So, that is the will of God. But Adam and Eve disregard that uh, will of God when they disobeyed the command. And here, makikita natin sa Genesis when you say create, it is uh, the ability of God to convert cosmic energy into matter. You say, let there be light, let there be the ferment, and everything that he, do, he did is just by his own words on the first five days of creation and even in the six with the animals but with man it's very different he did not say let there be man no out of the dust he made man he formed it by his own hand and fashioned it to be like him and breath into his nostrils the bread of life so hindi ito you know it is a special way of uh, during the, the time of creation that he made man at ito kung makikita po natin ang tinatawag na uh, kapangyarihan ng Panginoon at the very, be very beginning ay makita natin kung paano siya dakila sa kanyang ginawa merong dalawang sa unang tiyuri ng turtles all the way down kung saan daw nakapatong yung mundo so turtle pag tinanong siya ulit turtle pa rin may dalawang uh, idea or may dalawang paniniwala ito yung una yung tinatag na perennial faith that is uh, kinukonsider them in the midnight of divine unknown glittering in the storm beaten lighthouse which stands strong um, despite of the great waves that is splashing on it okay in the unbelief waves of unbelief na nakapaligid and uh, here we can see that it is faith itself ang pananampaltaya mismo ang nag uh, passion sa isipan ng tao na itong story of or the origin of man is from the hand of God so makikita natin dito yung pagkakaiba ng tinatawag na perennial faith at saka yung theory of spiritualism it's a theory of spiritualism it teaches that man is a creature of progression so, dito sa Darwin Theory, magkita natin na um, the days, the order of days come after 10 million years, uh, another 10 million years, which is very impossible because its creation, creation of God is dependent upon the other, the animals and the plant relationship as well as the presence of sun. So, makita po natin na ang mga proponents dito ay meron tinatawag na social Darwinism. Ano ito? Ito yung mga paniniwala na pinansimula ng mga geneticists at saka biologists under the cloak of science. Kunwari, nasa science sila na sa ilalim sila ng science. And uh, they have this also categorized human beings in a way as a way to support racial superiority. According sa kanila, merong mga lahi na talagang superior ang breed and that they are superior to other race. And that uh, was the idea brought to its apogee in Nazi Germany. Ito yung belief nila na they are um, on the superior uh, 
race or clan. So, dito ay makita natin na in the image of the maker is God's image was created in Adam and Eve. And they have that uh, freedom choice. Ito lang yung intellect na ginawa para sa tao ay hindi ito makikita sa ibang mga nila lang. Only men have the power to reason out and the power to obey or disobey. So they have what you call the choice. So when God bless, God empowers the function, the fulfillment of the blessed glory of God that is in man. So nasa tao. So sinasabi po na nung nilalang ang mundo at nagkaroon ng nilalang kagaya ng kawangis ng Panginoon, si Satan ay masyado siyang intrigue at he wished to be controlled but he was not. So, he was filled with envy, jealousy, and hatred. So, macho na, naisip niya na dito sa tao, sa tao na nilang ng Panginoon, he can wrestle against God's government at kanyang i-convince yung mga tao na lumaban sa Panginoon. So, makita natin na at the tree ay pinakita ni Satan kung paano ang kanyang plano to wrestle against God sa pagkukonvince niya kay Eve yung conversation nila and then dito makita po natin na Eve was deceived ay ang question ko kahapon sa aking mga dun sa live stream ko um uh, Eve was deceived but Adam was not yes or no marami ang sumagot ng no at isa lang ang sumagot ng yes siguro adventist yun <laughs> hindi ko natanong lahat sila no and uh, uh, there's only one the name is Shirley siya lang ang nagsabi na uh, yes tama yun kung makita natin na deceive naman talaga si Eve kasi there was the tempter pero sa, pan sa panahon na binigay niya kay Adam yung fruit alam ni Adam na siya ay mamamatay. He know it by himself. But because of his love to his wife, ay minabuti na lang niyang mamatay. So that is what you call intentional sin. So dito makikita po natin na doon sa um, ibang mundo na naipasyal, pinasyal si Ellen White doon, nakita niya yung sa ibang mundo. There were also two trees and uh, they have the same parehong aspeto yung bunga nila they are beautiful to look at they have the power to eat both but one tree is forbidden at sabi ng angel sa kanya to my attending angel said to me none in this place have tasted the forbidden tree so ibig sabihin we are the only spot in the universe that have rebelled against God. Tayo lang yung isa, kaisa-isang uh, nagkaroon ng rebellion sa Panginoon. The theory of human religion, rebellion, is tied to Adam's unholy reasoning. Di ba nangatwiran pa siya? Ganito, ganun. And uh, imbibe the forbidden fruit of relativism. So, dito ang Ano ba itong relativism? Ito yung paradigm of the evil where self retains its tendency to decide its own parameter of morality. Ito tama, ito tama, ito. Um, without consulting the word of God. So, it competes with uh, God's sovereign will and it is wholly unconquerable hindi siya makontrol, not unless there will be divine interventions that will be uh, imposed so when they ate they both ate 
they obtain knowledge of sin, a sense of guilt. Dito na, the covering light about them soon disappeared under the sense of guilt and loss of their divine covering, a shivering system. So, ito naging kalagayan ng tao nung sila nagkasada. And, uh, furthermore, they were separated from God. The relationship was broken. So, that the loving and fellowship that could have exist between Adam and God, at the entrance of sin, shattered the original union. God seeks to restore the relationship to the plan of redemption. Ang nais ng Panginoon kay Adam at saka Eve is for them to be dependent creatures to the Lord. So, ito rin yung nais ng Panginoon na inihingi sa atin sa ating kapanahon ngayon. Life for us as dependent creatures takes one only a true meaning and clarity only when we have union with our Creator. So, ito rin ang magiging ano sa atin, sa ating kapanahonan. Kapag tayo ay mamuhay na nakadepende sa Panginoon, only then that we can have a true meaning and clarity of our lives. That is only when we enter into a union with our Creator. So, I think, I hope and pray that this will be a challenge for each and every one of us. That we will always enter in, into a union, a close relationship with God, and um, always uh, seek God's word first in all things that we do, so that we will have a true meaning of our ex existence in this world and a clear view of the purpose of our existence in this world. We owe to enter into a union with our Lord, the author and finisher of our faith. Thank you and God bless us.